Welcome to a moonstruck, slap in the face, wake up to reality realization. Or was it just another trim tap opportunity that signaled a life course redirect? Did you see last week's post I made about a trim tab? A tiny rudder on a huge ocean ship. Rudder that activates a course correct change. Without it, the results would be disastrous. I promised to all of my pay by donation offerings for a biomatrix coherency energy healing body mind reset session, a trim tab moment, an aha experience, a course correction. Everyone who participated reported a positive feedback. The next step is to learn about what to do about that trim tab, but more about that later. What surprised me was my own trim tab awakening. I'm in transition point in my life, leaving a brick and mortar business world. I own a health club and yoga centers in New York City, a local business. I'm completely changing my lifehood from that to a digital online commitment to energy healing work. I've been developing this for over 35 years. In order to keep my mind focused, I begin each day speaking affirmations. I realized that the effects of these mini mantras were influential when spoken or listened to from a higher state of consciousness. So I have added them to my own personal daily coherency meditation. I also wanted to see if this addition helped participants in my healing work anchor the individual's desires into their own lives. Participants had a choice to use their own affirmations or choose from a list I provided from Florence Scovel Shin, an author from the 1920s, a precursor to the recent law of attraction. For those desiring more abundance, me included, in their life, the affirmation is, God is my unfailing supply. Large sums of money come to me quickly, under grace and in perfect ways. So here is my trim tab. By the end of the week, only one person to my donation only sessions responded. Now I was okay, or mostly okay, after all this was an experiment. Yet there was part of me that was a little bit disappointed. I was reflecting on the use of the word donation, what it means to people, how the concept is treated in our society, how variable it is to our minds, what type of effect it has on our bio brain. Two points of view came up for me. Most people donate something of value when they feel good about giving to others with no expectation of getting anything back in return. But if one gives something for free, like I did, and states that if you find value, please donate, it is kick ass backwards. It is confusing to the brain. There is no dopamine flux, no expectations met, no reward fulfilled. It puts one on the fence. Which way do I go? The hormonal influence dries up. Value one moment becomes something different in the next moment. It's biological. Thank you for showing this to me, universe. And number two, for me, there's another piece around donation. It's my association with the non-prime time relentless commercials asking me to pull out my credit card and make a monthly donation to save endangered species. Narrated with the saddest voice in the world and me feeling like I am being manipulated to evoke an emotional response I do not have and the only way to get rid of that emotion is to donate. I finished the week and was getting ready to let off some steam at my favorite Friday night rock and roll dance saloon and while there I get a notification. A donation has arrived into my Stripe account and I was elated. And I was amused. A large sum of money arrived just like in the affirmation. The work, the effort, the willingness to create something out of nothing was successful. The amount made no difference. Large is a relative term. To an ant, zero inches to 100 inches is huge. I felt amazing, bubbly, excited, inspired. I felt large successful, united. My little trim tab shifted the way I feel about my potential. I can tap into this experience anytime, and I do. 
In the trim tab world, we must tune in to the nature of change. Change is not relative to the amount, it is relative to the moment into which it arises. It is an emergent property, evolving. It owns no limits. A tiny bit of pressure is the essential impulse for the course change of a big ship sailing across the universe. What is the change you inspire to create? Do you measure it by amounts or by the effects it has on your inner being? One is immediately present in you, here and now, in your awakening consciousness and the way you feel inside. The other is not. It depends on what is out there. One is alive, living, emerging, and endless commitment to its manifestation opens infinite possibilities. The other waits for proven results and is conditioned by past formulas, past attitudes, past emotions, and is weighted down by the lack of alacrity. Alice Bailey in a treatise on cosmic fire differentiates these two choices. A choice between the heart and mind of Yoda or the muffled insidious voice of Darth Vader. The latter, the dark, relies on the manipulation of the world of form and is sponsored by personal desire. The black magician uses the throat chakra, the voice, to manipulate the feelings and limited thoughts of others via the lower chakras, emotions, past conditionings, and astral phenomenon to behave in ways that will benefit them. White magic, on the other hand, works with a triad of energies that serve the greater good and the evolution of consciousness. Center your vision in the heart aspect of the third eye. See into the world the connection between all living things. Speak the truth, the voice, the throat, the fifth chakra from what you see in the world that benefit and connects all living forms to its own evolutionary cycle. Connect all to the compassion, empathy, and love that is hardwired in the human heart. This fits into what we do in the biomatrix, coherency, energy, healing, mind, body, reset, session. It's already a chakra realignment. Now, science has yet to determine exactly what it does, but the results can't be ignored. When people have profound experiences that shift the way they feel, think that relieves pain, where they feel renewed, where they feel more of themselves, and they experience bliss, well, for now, until science can measure and make up theories about this phenomenon, let's just call it what it is, magic. And I'm opening my doors this week to introduce and share my work for those interested in having a trim tab course correction experience. I'm done doing the donation things, but I know some people are struggling, so I have introduced a sliding scale, a clear agreement, pay what you can for this upcoming week. It's over after this week. If you are interested, let me know in the comments. I will send you a link to the registration page. There are a limited number of sessions in this special one-time offer. And if you are a fence sitter and reading this, the act of registering may be just the trim tab that you need to evoke change. It's biological. Showing up and participating will take care of the rest. Plus, it's guaranteed you have nothing to lose. If you do not have a positive experience, tell me, and whatever you paid, I will promptly return. On the registration page, there is a short video that explains exactly what I do in your session, and a few new reflections of participants' experience so that you know what you could expect. Plus, there is a calendar of available hours where you could schedule your session. I look forward to our time together.